It is day 65 of my no hoarding, heavily modded trouble. playthrough of Fallout 4. We're starting in Fourville, where we just picked up a bother someone else. Oh, disappearing Hancock there. Picked up a fresh new mission from Sparky. We'll have to see where that goes. That's on the laundry list of places I would like to hit Don't today. Don't cause any trouble while you're down here. While in the elevator, I check through my inventory, and I'm carrying over 300 pounds of gear, somehow. So I'm going to quickly see if I can hey offload buddy. a bunch of this on the, uh, the gun salesman. So it looks like we're going to have a nice day, at least for the morning. We all know with the, uh, <laughs> the True Storms mod, this can change in about five minutes. Although I think that was the case in the base game, although perhaps not quite as aggressively. The first location we're headed to is, well, apparently right here. What do we have? Oh, let's see what we have. Okay. Wait, you see? Hey, I got some. So, first location for the day will be Libertalia. I think that's what I have the map marker on, or at least that would make sense based on where it is. I do need to stop at the lighthouse to drop off a whole whack ton of junk. Luckily that is... well, it's exactly on the way. Let's see what we have here first, though. No oh, more of these guys. Hmm. Let's see about taking care of the little guys first. That didn't go quite as well as I was hoping. Okay, so that's the junk dropped off at the lighthouse. Libertalia should be right over that way. Despite being 65 days in, this Way More Trees mod really does keep catching me off guard. This walkway here is usually just a you know barren dead zone. Seeing it lined with trees like this, I don't think trees would naturally grow like this. Either these trees survived from uh, before the war, or maybe... Maybe someone planted them. It's been 200 years, and dropping some trees down here is not so much of a stretch. With 200 years gone by, it's a very real possibility that this place has been, you know, inhabited, then abandoned, several times. Oh. Well, let's shoot him through a wall with a crit. And do basically no damage. Hancock, easy on that ammo. 10 millimeters and expensive, but I think you've only got like 20 rounds on you. Okay, we'll shoot his arm. For no effect. <laughs> wow. I was worried I was going to get the XP for that one. Well, let's see what these guys have found. I bet you they have found XB88 or whatever it's called. Sloppy oh, X688, yeah. This won't take long. So this is the uh, the synth I'm supposed to be meeting. He's going to fight the Brotherhood for an hour or two. I'm sure he'll be more than capable of uh, catching up. 
Now, if you recall, we have been through Libertalia before. But I'm still going to make sure that uh, our friend with the, uh, the fat man hasn't respawned. That kind of looks like the outline of a person. Well, guess not. Either that or I missed. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Oh! Well, that's lovely. You just got... Uh, Hancock idolizes me. So... Where is he? There you are. Well, we're in the middle of a war zone. This is a perfect time to have a deep conversation. Hey, what you got? Hancock. Hey, you, uh, got a sec? I need you to hear something. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Thanks. I, I appreciate it. It's just... Being out here with you, it's made me realize... Most of my life to this point... I've been running out on the good things I got. I skipped out on my family. My life in Diamond City. Took up with you just to get out a good neighbor. Hell, running from myself is what made me into into a damn ghoul. But being here with you for the first time in my life, things have just felt right. And running is the furthest thing from my mind. I mean, I left Good Neighbor thinking I was gonna just sharpen up the old killer instinct. But whether it's fate or destiny or just goddamn coincidence, I ended up with someone like you. Yeah, we are I pretty badass. One of the nastiest settlements in the Commonwealth into a refuge for the lost. I thought I'd done something I could hang my hat on. But being out here with you, it's made me realize just how small time I've been thinking. And that maybe all my running for my life, myself, maybe it wasn't such a bad thing after all. Running from yourself? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I didn't always look this good. The drug that did this to me, that made me a ghoul, I knew what it was going to do. I just couldn't stand looking at the bastard I saw in the mirror anymore. The coward who'd let all those ghouls from Diamond City die. I was too scared to protect his fellow drifters from Vigan's So boys. what drug is he talking about? If I took about? it, I'd never have to look at him again. I could put that all behind me. I'd be free. It didn't seem like a choice at all. Turns out it was just me running from something else in my life. It doesn't matter what you did. All that matters is what you do from well, here on out. That's kind of patronizing. I kind of wish I didn't say <laughs> I that. I know a lot of bookies that disagree <laughs> with you, but I feel what you're getting at. So let me get to the point. Throwing in with you has been the best decision I've it ever made. It usually is. It's like I found a part of myself I never realized was missing, which happens sometimes when you're a ghoul. Gross. If I hadn't taken up with also you, why we're not going to pursue a romance. Gutter somewhere, getting gnawed on by rad roaches. You. I've been one hell of a friend. I know the feeling. You're a damn fine man, Hancock. I'm lucky to have you at my back. And God help any of them who get in our way. Well, I know I could stand to listen about how wonderful I am for the rest of my days, but it's probably worth us hitting the road. Thanks for hearing me out, friend. Now, I have no recollection <laughs> what Hancock's affinity perk gives you. It's not particularly useful. It's useless enough. I've actually totally forgotten what it is. So after repeatedly falling down these staircases through the jungle gym that is Lubertalia, we are here up at the captain's quarters. Hold up a moment, ma'am. There's something important I need to tell you. I don't know how you caught up, but... I'm listening. I'm going to give you B592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say B-592, initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code Gamma-71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. I'm not going to destroy this man's identity and free will. Killing him would be more humane. Damn right. No man should be forced to live out his days as a slave. It's not a man. It's a synth. A synth that's confused and dangerous. We can restore it to its proper functions. Make it whole again. Ma'am, I can't force you to use the reset code, but I know it's what Father would want. I hope you'll consider that. That's all, ma'am. Ready when you are. Now, there is something I want to do here. 
which technically constitutes cheating based on my no hoarding rules. I think once you guys see it, you'll forgive me for it. Well Judging done. By your gear, Very I'm going to guess you two are agents Just of the like me. <laughs> Go get him, X688! <laughs> oh, it still counts as hitting them if you're in bats. That's awesome! Synth was a valuable piece of technology. You're going to have to explain this to Father. Yeah, X I'm not too worried. Ready to relay back alone. What I do need to do, since that was literally just for fun, let's go ahead and put that baseball bat away. <laughs> Whether you agree with the decision or not, I highly doubt my reasoning is lost on any of you. I don't really care if he's a synth or not. He's a raider, and I kill raiders. Now the plan wasn't actually to go to the Brotherhood next, although they're literally right there. So I'm sure there's a ton of stuff to chat with them about. Whoa, that actually managed to startle me. So as long as we're basically here, might as well go and do just that. Oh, you know what we should also do over here? Pick up Dance now that Hancock is maxed out. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get Dance maxed out yet, but I'd like to get him at you know, the equivalent of 99.9%. .9 so that when I can actually max him out, it's basically like flipping a switch. Now, I know Dance is here somewhere. I think I sent him here, but who knows where he actually showed up. What I should hey. do before uh, Hancock gets himself killed while I try to hey, fly Hancock, up to the the Pridwin. You look like you could use this. Why, thank you. It's time we parted company. Yes, all good things gotta end. I'll head home. You come find me when you decide you need some more trouble in your life. Nice to have someone else oh, to depend there you are. on, isn't it? Paladin dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Let's get moving. Ready. Roger that. Well, I'm pretty sure that Dance is still going to find a way to fall off this ledge. He won't, uh, <laughs> he won't actually injure himself doing it because he's wearing power armor. Let's see how the asshat and chief is doing. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. Well, what do you care? <laughs> However, you've secured passage to and from their facility which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. By recruiting, you mean they forced her to join? Being at war leaves little room for compassion. That's a yes. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. The monster. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. 
We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. So he did mention that he wants me to give that holotape to Ingram. However, I think the railroad will just make a copy of it, whereas Ingram will take it from me. So I'm going to give it to the railroad first. Because then I can give it to both of them. Speaking of the railroad, though, they are the next logical stop on my list for the day. So, Dance, uh, I'm thinking you'd probably rather wait out here. I, I have some friends that I'm going to chat with, and they're, um, um, well, l let's say that they're, um, hey, go ahead. liberals. Wait there. Roger. <laughs> Holding position. I'll be back. Woo! See, Dance, I told you the molecular stabilization matrix held. Funny. You didn't sound certain yesterday. It is really, really good to see you. Did it work? Nope. Did you make it inside the Institute? You thought I died? I saw you disintegrate right before my eyes. Then the whole machine blew up. Tom insisted you dematerialized in time. But Tom's track record with experiments leaves something to be desired. I've never been happier to tell Tom I was wrong. It did work, right? I met with the leader of the Institute. And it turns out... He's my son. What? Wasn't he just a little boy? Yeah, I kind of wish that was the answer. After they took him from me, they froze me in cryo. Instead of being on ice for a few years, yeah, it's yeah, a few we caught that. Instead, the Institute's really done a number on me. Besides meeting your boy, did you meet Patriot too? Did Tom's holotape work? I met Patriot. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job done. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. Well, I could just tell it to you, you know? Leave the typing to you someone less balls? important, perhaps? Too many teeth to be okay, smart. well, Pam's terminal it is. Glad you're with us. Ah! So you and Glory got assigned the same op. Compartmentalization of intel does have its cost. It wasn't so bad. Analysis complete. Anything we need to move on? Affirmative. Code name Patriot requires admin credentials for Code Defender security software. Cross-indexing CIT security administrators with 2077 Commonwealth Census records. Filtering by surviving structures. One match found. Bergman, Wilfred, Bergman, Wilfred. Registered as co-owner of Cambridge Polymer Labs. Estimated 81% chance of login credentials being located at this facility. What can you tell me about Cambridge Polymer? Cambridge I Polymer shouldn't have Lab, asked. LLC. Had several active military contracts specializing in robotics. The region is currently classified as extremely dangerous. After you get the password report back here. Oh, oh, so it's me that's luck, doing we'll it, eh? game plan by then. Make sure you never follow me. I mean, I'm it's pretty sure we have, like, an Assaultron right here. You don't think? Well, no, I guess... I guess it's a little much to assume that it was going to be anyone but me going and getting that password, huh? Hey. Ready. Come on. Roger that. So in heading directly uh, as the bird flies to the location for Sparky's mission, it looks like I have... Well, I was planning on actually trying to get around this place instead of going through it, but, you know, there's super mutants here. Let's I shoot them all. Yeah. That's kind of what the whole game is about, isn't it? Oh, hello. Come on, poke your head out. Or you can. Pretty sure I saw a legendary in there. Go with a headshot, which I'll drop a crit on. How did a crit miss? I mean, I realize I'm hitting a, a fence, but crits are supposed to always hit. Okay, you don't want to be right next to me. <laughs> that never goes well. You 
hear that? You the legendary? You're the legendary. Hmm. That's kind of garbage. Long live the Brotherhood. These guys actually had well, not spectacular uh, stuff, but ammo and meat and and I'm actually gonna go and have a loot this particular town can be absolutely full of loot it looks much much different with the uh, the trees something. mod which is oh, even this fly. looks different there you are You could spend literally half an hour looting this place. It is absolutely loaded with stuff. There's actually a settlement like right across the way there I could drop it at, but yeah, I'm not gonna spend half an hour doing that. No mercy! Seems that all roads lead to this medical center. It's probably one of the most used assets in the game, if you include mods. Wonder if everything has respawned in here yet. Well, I'm seeing moving bars, which tells me that, no yep, we do have respawns. Someone there. Someone there. Okay, so what we want to shoot is his right arm for the crit. So I'm not sure whether or not I can survive a uh, mini nuke explosion with this armor set. What's interesting is since I was here a long time ago at a much lower level, you see these guys' uh, level has already been locked in. So they're actually uh, they're going down at range to a shotgun. Good work. Don't leave anything behind. I'm pretty sure I already have that key, yep. I can smell you out there, little snake! What? Who's there? Going through here last time was certainly a much more tactical endeavor than this time around. Campolite. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Or maybe it's a real thing. Either way, it's what I need. So I've managed to get through this much, much earlier in the day than expected. Still a couple things left to do, but I figure I have enough time to hit up Fourville, turn in Sparky's mission, and then get back to it. Oh, hello. Spot hub flowers from a mile away. <laughs> Your mind just gets trained to look for those. It's two missions down, Sparky. Here you go. Affirmative. Dispensing reward. Let's see where this third mission takes us. Come on. Hey there. Here. Greetings. Android dead. Mm -hmm. Anything I can do to help? Affirmative. This unit is authorized to distribute mm -hmm. this laboratory request. Uh -huh.
I heard that. It sounds like we got uh, raiders here. So, Kendall Hospital is right by the, uh... Right by the CIT ruins itself. So we're going to be headed there for the Cambridge Polymer Labs, where we'll get the password. We're going to head there for the Institute itself, because we have to get Dr. Lee. While we're there, we will pick up that mission for Sparky. Useful. Since we can teleport directly to the uh, the Institute, we might as well take advantage of that, because there is one other place I would like to check off. So this will be a trip literally from corner to corner on the map. Your minigun should be loaded and ready to fire. Good shooting, man. I am going to see how long this actually winds up taking by Vertibird. Not down to the last second. I've made a... You're going the wrong way, guys. <laughs> I've made a note of the time that I hopped in. We'll see what time uh, I land at. It's also worthy of note that Dance here gave me a liked point for having gotten in the Vertibird. It'll be, uh, come on guys, take it out of hover. There we go. Dance will be basically maxed out momentarily, but another location right next to the Institute is Hangman's Alley, where I keep, well, basically everyone. So I'll be able to scoop up someone else momentarily. So this trip here has taken basically six minutes. Setting Compare that to uh, the nine minutes and 15 seconds that it took me to run from Spectacle Island, well, run and swim, from Spectacle Island to the, uh, the starting vault. These vertebrates, they're convenient, but they're not fast. I'm not sure if uh, Dance is gonna be a fan of our friend here, but we're gonna take him in to see him anyway. Hey Virgil, well, I got good news. I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize Not you. completely. It did, but I pulled myself together. <laughs> I suppose you did. Now, what about the serum? Did you find it? One track mind. Yeah, I got it. I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. No, All Dance right. didn't like that. Let's Why see. wouldn't Dance like Let's that? See. What a horrible smell. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. Has the, uh, <coughs> reverse transcriptase survived the nucleotide synthesis? Excellent question. Yes. Yes, it has. Fascinating. No. Oh. Did you mean that as a <laughs> joke? <sighs> well, it's time. There's only one way to test it. I think Dance would be all for this. A way to unmake super mutants? All right. Here we go. It didn't work. Give it time. <laughs> the retrovirus has to run its course. I love that I'm line. I'm gonna rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Protect Begs the question when my sir. character was actually wondering what happened. Like, he goes through some Sailor Moon <laughs> transformation here in the middle of the cave. That would have been awesome, though, to be fair. That would have been genuinely awesome. So, Dance, I hope you paid attention on your way here. Because, uh... I'm taking a shortcut. One benefit of having the Institute unlocked is I can go straight there and straight back out. Which magically works for Paladin Dance as well. So, Medical Center. Don't tend to spend a lot of time in this area of the map. Well, this part here we've been through probably like six times in the last few episodes. But this medical center, have we been here yet at all? This is, uh, I mean, here's the, uh, the ruins of the Institute right here. Gorgeous night, by the way. Is this it? That would be it. Ah, here's our entrance. Here and sit. 
So we got sent here for the, uh, the mission Butcher's Bill uh, quite some time ago. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in a shadow. That? What the fuck was that? I don't think we're alone. Oh. You never know what you'll find. Someone there? You're mine now, rookie! <laughs> So my assumption was correct. By getting down here, the door marker has changed. I should be able to get into the medical center through this basement. So I'm hearing something in here that doesn't sound like great, or it sounds like there's a, a fresh death claw down here, to be honest. Oh, fresh missile launcher too. I heard something. I know I was here quite, quite some time ago, so... be interesting if the death plot itself actually respawned. I doubt that's the case, though. We'll see, though. You hear that? Oh, legendary. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> get to that legendary before someone else grabs it or it despawns or any number of different things. Nicely done, Dance. Well, that wasn't worth the time. <laughs> Ooh, drugs. We may have a problem here. Hmm. I wouldn't call it that, Dance. <laughs> I really, really wouldn't. That guy had a pool cue. You're dead! You hear me? Oh, we can actually open an advanced Ooh. lock this time around. Could have sworn I heard something. Got it. Yeah, you just heard someone yelling at us. <laughs> Hi. Ah! I'm seeing this map marker, and I'm starting starting to think that uh, I might not be able to get there from here. You notice we also got the the screen shake. That means there's a death claw here. But I'm pretty sure there's not a death claw. Well, I mean, there might be another death claw here. Maybe these uh, fresh new group of raiders showed up, and yeah, there it is. They wrangled up a fresh new death claw. <laughs> oh, that death claw wasn't smart enough to hide around the corner. Maybe I have. There's no way I haven't been here. There's no way I'm remembering this wrong, and that this is the first time I've been here. Oh, well, here it is. Okay, I think this is what I'm looking for. Something I don't recognize from the base game. Yep, there we go. Talk to Sparky. Maybe this area reset uh, as a function of picking it up for Fourville. I'm guessing that's probably what's happened here. We should be basically right on top of the uh, Cambridge Polymer Labs as well. But what I do need to be careful of is this is the area of town where... Sometimes the ground doesn't load in. <laughs> you can literally fall through the floor of the game. Luckily, if that comes up, I can use console commands to, uh, you know, not die from it. But it is something I have to be cognizant about. Huh? I'm not about to get in a gunfight. It's probably... Well, that's not actually going to help. <laughs> I'm just going to wind up falling down a hole anyway if I turn out my light. Let's see, uh, I gotta remember that uh, I'm nowhere near as sneaky as I am in my in-case playthrough where I can basically hit a guy three times in the face before they realize I'm standing in front of them. Isn't there normally a, a robot greeter out here? No. Well, presumably it's inside waiting for us. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure. I'm game. Let's begin the interview. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. 
Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer <laughs> you the position of sales coordinator. Very astute. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Uh, yeah, I guess. Please note that employee enthusiasm <laughs> is factored into your yearly reviews. So am I supposed to follow you? Please save all questions for after the tour of the facility. Please find right. an open if I sit in the chair, will you, uh, the presentation. will you get on with it? The of Cambridge Polymer Labs lies in the research of a group of brilliant graduate students. John Elwood, Erica Woolham, and Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them at their graduation. Their research into nucleostrictive and piezoelectric polymers oh. caught the attention of Colonel George Kemp in the fall of 2073. In the spring of 2074, the company was founded with a generous grant provided by the Defense Experimental Research Project Initiative. The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime Project that led to the successful defense of Anchorage. The company enjoys a strong relationship. I've heard of breaching a door. And welcomes your a addition quiet. to the research team. Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Ooh, beer bottles. That's water. Technical document, small number of caps. Hell yeah. Well, I hear more, uh, more ghouls. So, I can release the security lockdown from here and just leave uh, w with um, the password, presume. Oh no, I do need to go in there because I need the password. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break. Normally she won't uh, she won't actually let you out until you've done the uh, the experiment, but if you have the master lock, you can just skip it all. But no, I need the password, which means I need to actually go through this. Molly, come on. Sales staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Please take a moment to That's dress not what your provided work means. Attire. And follow me into the clean room. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention, and welcome to the team. Please enter the clean room. I have been instructed to inform you that Director <laughs> Elwood has issued mandatory overtime. <laughs> That's given awesome. Completed milestones. Given the current state Consequently, of the Staff will not be allowed to leave the labs unusual. until the piezonucleic lining project has been completed. Please report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Woolham, for specific research assignments. Starting decontamination sequence. We should search this. Yeah! Love this shotgun. <laughs> Whoever made this mod, Bethesda just needs to hire him. Even if it's just to make the shotgun for Fallout 6 and Starfield and somehow figure out a way to put a shotgun in Skyrim, because this is so much fun. <laughs> hey, dance behind you. Figure they could have pulled a guy off the, the Doom project because I'm pretty sure Bethesda was behind the the newer Doom games. This shotgun's more fun than, well, I say it's more fun. I I haven't played the new Dooms. I've watched plenty of videos of them, but I haven't played them, so I can't say for certain that this is more fun. But this this is more fun. Let's be honest. This is way better. This is awesome.
I'm through. I'm not gonna make this easy for you. Grab some uranium. Or is 238... Is that uranium or plutonium? Either way, it's probably something I shouldn't be putting in my pocket, but <laughs> here we are. Okay, so this is... Well, is this it? I don't think this is it. Yes. Oh, safe control, though. I'm not going to disengage the lock, though. If I come across the safe, I'd rather pick the lock myself. And there it is. Sweet. And there we go. We have our password. So hopefully I've picked up all the reagents I'm supposed to. Um, this one... Hmm. Okay, so the isotope. Okay, so that'll be the uranium. I have missed one. Well, like sitting on a table, like right here, isn't it? No. Nope. Well, let's have a quick peek. It's not a big place. Bingo. This equipment's here for a reason. Let's find out why. I'm pretty sure it's that thing. Unfortunately, that is a power armor piece. So while I can sell it, it's of very little use to me. That's actually really good. Does it have... It has boob holes. Because of course it does. <laughs> Radiation exposure increases action point refresh speed. Bingo. Which would be good if I use power armor at all. Oh, dance like that. Bet you that's maxed him out. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Have you completed the research on the Pisa nucleic lining project? Prototype is done. Wonderful. Mandatory overtime mode disengaged. Clean room <laughs> override disengaged. The director will want to see this immediately. Please, follow me. <laughs> so that key would have gotten me into the room with the uh, the ghoul up the stairs, but we've already been to see the director and uh, dealt with that, so there's not much point in going back there today. Seems like it's a lot clearer out now than it was when we uh, when we went in there, but I think I'll still have to use the uh, <laughs> the pit boy light, or this video is just gonna be a black wall. So we managed to kill a synth for the Institute, although they're going to be pissed about that. We told the Brotherhood we'd been to the Institute, although they were pissed that we didn't go there with them. We maxed out Hancock's affinity. He wasn't pissed about that, which is nice. Scoped out the Cambridge Polymer Labs to get a password for the railroad, and we did two missions for Sparky. Wow, I, uh, <laughs> here I was thinking, man, did I get up to enough to today? Hope you ain't one but of them since yes, you had a spy on yes, me. I most certainly did. So I think it's time to wrap this up. Going to be grabbing a fresh companion tomorrow. Have to figure out who that's going to be. And I will see you then.